Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and I'm here in Arcadia, which is like Phoenix, Arizona, but it's a really old and really aesthetically pleasing and pleasant neighborhood in Arcadia. We call it the Black Sphinx Date Neighborhood. This neighborhood's been around as a date grove for about 100 years now. Next year, 2017, will be the 100-year anniversary, and today I'm here in this open lot, one lot here in the neighborhood. The house has already been torn down, and they're gonna build a new house. This is pretty common in Paradise Valley and the Phoenix area now for folks that have a little bit of extra money. They'll come in, they'll buy a property, they'll tear that old house down and build a new house up in its place. And this neighborhood is really distinctive. I've done videos before on this neighborhood you guys have seen. If you click the links on the screen right now, it's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of old Black Sphinx uh, date palms that have been planted here about 100 years ago in uh, 1917. And so you guys can see this neighborhood is full of is full of date palms. See them all? And they were gonna tear these hundred-year-old grandma date palms out when they built the new house, because they weren't going to design architecture that built around the palms. They were gonna see the palms as a hindrance and they were gonna cut them down and tear them out. They already cut down two of them and just killed them and took them out of here. So my friend Erica, who you guys have met before on my YouTube channel here, she's really into dates, she's a very nice lady, and so she is trying to preserve and save these date palms, the ones behind me up here. And so she's gonna pay to have these guys with this equipment, they're gonna dig these palms out of the ground, and using either a spade truck or a crane, they're gonna lift them up out of the ground. This is like a, you know, maybe a, almost a 40 foot tall date palm. They're gonna lift them out of the ground and bring them a couple houses down to Erica's house and plant them at Erica's house. So it's a it's an insta tree. And so they're already getting started with the backhoe here. They're digging a trench around the date palm. And I'm gonna film the process here this morning. It's like six in the morning. I've been up since 5 a.m. The sun isn't even up yet. And so this is me, the vegan athlete, in a tired look. And they're digging up this palm right here. I'll show you guys. So that's the palm, it's a big one. It's easily over 30 feet tall. And they're using the backhoe to dig around the root structure. Let me uh, turn the camera around and I'll get you guys a nice view of what he's doing. So I'm now here with my new friend, John Hancock. Good to meet you. Nice to meet I've you. I've talked to you on the phone before. Yep. We talked about trees. Yes. Now, you're really into fruit trees. I am, And but you I... have the equipment to grab some mature, awesome ones. Yes. So, what really um, turns me on about you is that you can go around town and see a mature 20 foot tall tree and you can just choose to grab it out of the ground. Yes. If you wanted to. Yeah. That's I have, so cool. I have probably 200 trees at my house. You do? M mature trees. Mature trees. Yeah. Because we talked in the phone before and you said, you just said it so nonchalantly. I walked around, saw this nice orange tree. I just grabbed it yeah. out of the ground. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so what is, what is a spade truck? It's mounted on a semi truck. It has four large blades that would resemble a uh, shovel. Okay which when they're all the way down they they all the edges of the spades join so which so it will cut all the roots and then you can just pick the tree up and it it'll pick up a 90 inch root ball wow and that's at the top and then it tapers down to a point which is kind of nice for most trees especially like citrus because citrus trees they have a lot of upper roots and then they have like a center tap root okay so it will both pick up the you know, get the width on the upper roots and then the depth on the tap root. Mm. So having that sort of a triangular shape, cone shape, is really good for a lot of trees. But today, when you're taking out these mature, if you spin here a second, we can see behind it from a spin your jump. Okay. Um, these palms you're taking out today, you're, you're not using the spade truck. Correct. They, usually the dactyliferas will have pretty deep roots. And I can do these up to about 
30 feet with my spade truck and I have wow. tremendous success. I brought a lot of them home. That's what I was going to ask, is how do you dig a mature tree out of the ground and make it survive? Well, the thing about the palm trees is the roots are so fibrous that we have to soak them for about 48 hours. Our, our spades will oh. not cut through the roots. So there's a um, process you go through before you just dig it out of the ground? Correct. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And you did a lot of the palms down by Chase Field and that sort of thing. Yeah. That's awesome. Did I tell you that? You were, you were telling me that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And cool. I know that we had to do it when they put in the Carl's Jr. Oh. And the root ball on that one, they sometimes they plant them deep uh -huh. to so that all the tops will, will be even. Uh -huh. And on that one, it was eight feet deep. The root ball? The root ball. And luckily, my backhoe operator is very talented. He was able to dig down that He far. looks like he has laser pinpoint precision oh, this, over there. That guy's good. He's, he's got to be the best. So if folks are around the Phoenix area, or anywhere in the Phoenix area, and they want to get some trees moved, they, they can contact you. Yes. What, do you have a website or a phone number? Or I anything do. They... You can look up John Hancock Tree Relocation. I'll put some links down below in the description. Yeah. And my other question is that when you're doing a big date palm like this, these are what, like over 30 feet? Over 35 feet, almost 40 feet. The last question I got for you is when you put these guys in the ground uh -huh. and you replant them, how do you ensure they don't just topple over and fall down in the first wind that comes along? There's some trade secrets on treating the roots. Okay. And and then the, the thing we do that's probably different from most people is we like to soak them while we're moving them. So as soon as we drop oh. it in the ground and make sure that it's the depth's right, we put a hose in. And just flood and, them. And flood them. And then we'll move on to the next tree while it's being flooded. That takes away the, the air pocket. So what oh, happens yeah, 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 is... Sure is usually when we do that, the tree will immediately lean over. Oh. And so you want to catch it and straighten it before we leave. So you're soaking the ground, the air pockets disappear, the tree leans, then yeah. you re- you re, We, um, we re-straighten re it, it, which gets even more air pockets out, settles right. the dirt even more, because now it's just saturated like concrete. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then it, we've never had one after that lean. And then once that dries, it's it's in. It'll never move. Wow. And uh, and it just we've had tremendous success doing it that way because we get rid of the air pockets. Yeah. Uh, the Probably tree, healthier for the tree. It is much healthier. We just have had wonderful success. Yeah, and it's funny. It seems like the bigger ones seem to handle the movie sometimes better than the smaller ones. Really? Yeah. It's it's strange. So. That's crazy. And is John Hancock your real name? It is. That's a pretty yeah. cool name, man. Yeah, and it's a funny story. <laughs> it's uh, my uh, dad was going to Australia to homestead a farm. Okay. And it was a, a program to put in a. But he was a, farm but he was American. American. And, okay. Yeah, and grew up on a farm in Arizona. Oh wow. And uh, and my mom was pregnant with me, and he was just joking. He says, well, "Why don't you name him John Hancock?" Well, she didn't know he was joking. Yeah. And so, she took him literally. Yeah. And, That's great. Uh, she went ahead and gave me that name, and I've been harassed for it my whole life. So. <laughs> but now you know the history, more of the history of the of the of the United States and all that stuff because your oh, name. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for being on the video, and we're gonna we're gonna film your work here, and it's a pleasure to talk to you and get a little bit of your expertise of moving these massive trees. Great. Well, thanks for being here. Yeah. Make sure we got that. So you're saying 26, 2600? 26, 26, no, 26,000 pounds. pounds. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. But yeah, usually they'll drop weight as we move them. Yeah. The, the moisture comes out. Uh, he'll probably knock the, some of the root ball down a little bit. Okay. So we, yeah. I, I'm trying to decide if I should charge them extra for the uh, for mulberry the, tree. For the mulberry right? that's on the root <laughs> <No>. system. <laughs> Think of this massive tree, massive root ball, and 26,000 pounds. 
of Date Tree here, Black Sphinx Date. Look at that guy. That's pretty impressive. These guys are masters at their trade. location where they're going to plant this tree and it's going up right now. This is a pretty cool process. I mean, I'm I'm enthralled. It's like a good movie to me with drama and action and suspense. I'm loving it. This is cool, man. And they're going to put it in the hole right down over there. Let me show you guys the hole where this tree is going to go as they jack it up on the crane. John, you mind telling the audience what the powder is? <laughs> that's kind of my little secret. But oh, I don't want to, don't give away your secrets. Uh, that's yeah. fine. It, it's sulfur powder. And it does a number of things. One, it, it uh, helps heal all the cut ends on the roots. Okay. And uh, it also treats the soil. Replacing a dead tree is usually because it was over water. Right. What's really cool about this tree is that the gentleman who owns the house where they just replanted the tree. He was taking the opportunity to redo his driveway and he figured that moving this tree into his home and saving it and preserving this grandma date palm would give him a little bit of fire to redo his driveway at the same time. So he dug up the entire driveway and is replacing and redoing his whole driveway at the same time as the tree. So literally this tree is getting the red carpet treatment, literally. Wow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this inside look of how to move a extremely big, extremely heavy, extremely tall, extremely old date palm, preserving the tree and it will have one year to get acclimated in the hole it's in now and then hopefully the following year it will fruit again and be fine and they're going to water it in to eliminate air pockets and um, decrease the stress on the tree and that was a cool process. I hope you guys liked watching it as much as I did. Hit the like button for me and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll come back to this uh, neighborhood here in the future if you guys subscribe. And I'll give you guys updates as to how this tree is doing. Maybe we'll come back in the future and we'll eat a few of the Black Sphinx dates off this mother, grandma, 100-year-old date palm. So thanks to uh, John Hancock and uh, his team for letting me film this and get their information. 
in the description below. I'll see you guys at my Instagram and Snapchat, which is Jake Mace Tai Chi. And if you guys want to go on Facebook and join my gardening group, it's called Urban Gardening in Arizona. It's a great group. We're approaching 10,000 members, all interested in gardening at home. Maybe you guys want to grow some date palms. If you do, they give you hundreds of pounds of fruit per year, super nutrient dense, and they keep in a freezer for a long, long time, almost up to a year, you can preserve them in a freezer. Go vegan, guys. Grow your food at home. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with the canopy of date palms, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Tell my fruit tree people out there, my tree pole. Have a great day.